guys my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel um it is monday morning um i still feel warm i don't know what the temperature is right now but i still feel really warm in my flat um it's cooler and darker outside um i've got up this morning like i usually do um about i would have said it was about quarter to eight I heard somebody messing about in a car outside and I think they went out and pressed someone's buzzer and they went hello and then they got back into the car and drove off. That's why I heard about uh, quarter to eight this morning so I got myself up slowly because um, it's getting darker in the mornings as well and it will do. Um, so I just, at the moment, I'm just feeling tired all the time. So I've got to get adjusted to the dark nights, dark mornings, and shorter days. So I suppose your body's got to adjust to it, I suppose. So I've got up, I take a while cleaning the cats, uh, emptying their litter trays, feeding them. I told you Nikki since she's gone missing has been she's just been going to the toilet in places she shouldn't so I just gotta deal with it. Something she's picked up bad habits when she went missing for nearly four weeks. So just trying to help her really get back to normal. She's probably traumatised. I think she was probably locked up somewhere managed to get out but she's obviously traumatized and he's doing things that she probably was doing when she was locked up I don't know um like I said I've made coffee um I've not got many plans uh, for today I've got uh, a, a parcel being delivered from the Royal Mail at lunchtime so I don't can't really go anywhere or do anything. Um, I've got plenty of food. Uh, I, I'm quite contented. Sometimes it gets monotonous when you don't actually speak to a person, but you know that's life. Um, so I'm going to obviously settle down, drink my coffee, do this video um, and then take Max out for his morning walk as I usually do. Uh, the lady with the ginger hair which is, which is it's, a, it's a lighter shade of ginger than mine was walking down the road with a blue coat and a backpack on and she went into the end flat. Um, that's where his car is parked at, at upstairs outside her block of flats. Um, so so I've, I'm ginger as well. There's another lady that's got ginger hair. She's older than me. And she goes to Strood as well with her backpack on. So there's two of us. Um, yeah, so I've just been out on the balcony and I've watered my lovely plants which are growing nicely though the sun will start to fade and obviously plants need sunlight as well so I, I'm really pleased this year for my plants because I plant, I got a load from seed off of eBay and the sunflowers have come out and so they're like mini marigolds so it's really 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 nice this year that my plants have actually not died uh, and um, I'm quite happy the pretty colours red pink like burnt orange it's I, when you look outside and you see the pretty plants then it, it makes you feel better when you're feeling a bit grotty and miserable so like I said I've got to wait for the post some point I've got to get my repeat prescription um, so we'll deal with that as it comes Alexa good morning good morning 
King Richard III was born on this day in 1452. His tomb can now be found at Leicester Cathedral, but his remains were discovered underneath the council car park in 2012. I wonder if he'd remember to get a parking ticket. Oh my god. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 8.37am. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Monday the 2nd of October. Alexa, what's the weather like? Right now in Rochester, it's 15 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has showers, with a high of 22 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Wonder. Wonder who? Wonder no more. It's me. <laughs> Funny sense of humour. Alexa, uh, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include English musician Sting, American actress Lorraine Bracco, Joseph Banner, American actress and talk show host Kelly Reaper, and English Association football player Tammy Abraham. Right, Alexa, how old is Sting? Sting is 72 years old. Oh my goodness, really? 72. I remember Sting... In the police, the band police, don't stand so close to me. Message in a bottle, I'll be watching you. Oh my God, he was also in Quadrophenia, I believe. Sting, was it Sting the bellboy in Quadrophenia? My goodness, we're all getting older. Oh dear, um, right, so last night I took Max for a walk, uh, no trouble at all, no one on that field at all, but I went out early, I went out just after seven, so it wasn't pitch black, it was getting dark, but it wasn't quite dark, I felt better, uh, no one on the field, um, and I just came off the field and I walked back home without any trouble at all which is just what I needed last night because I've been stuck at home all weekend um, I haven't really gone anywhere since last Wednesday so the last time I, I actually went out to the shops other than just now walking up to the co-op uh, uh, was to Strood last Wednesday on my birthday um, so I've got to try and get myself, I've just been feeling extremely tired. I mean, I've had to push myself to get up this morning, and it's not like me at all. I'm not being sleepy. Um, so I came back in last night from walking Max, and I was watching um, things about prison, and people in prison, and crime stories and things like that because I'm into that you know crime and then I I went to bed early I got fed up I did I actually got fed up about quarter past ten I thought I've had enough of this and I went to bed because I, I was watching a film with Bob Hope in it some the cat and the canary a black and white film called the cat and the canary with Bob Hope in it, and I just, I just felt, I just was in a, like a mood, not a mood where I was angry, I just felt, oh I'm tired, I can't sit and watch this, so I turned it off and I went to bed, <laughs> The Cat and the Canary, old black and white film, right Alexa, LBC Radio, LBC London from Global Player, Uh, you've got the best drinking water quality in the world. You've had a seven-fold improvement in uh, the bathing water quality around beaches, uh, and leakage has been coming down as well. But we completely recognise not everything is going well. Uh, we apologised earlier this year, and that's why we then announced uh, today this big new investment package. You, you, you say that, Mr. Corbett, but, but you will know better than I that we have uh, water companies being fined because sewage has been left on the beach or been discharged onto beaches. 
Yeah, and that's exactly... It's, it's very uh, difficult yeah. for my listeners to buy into what you're saying, and I appreciate that you represent Water UK, but they're thinking, well, how on earth can this man be saying it? Because the water company down the road, or whatever, whatever, they yeah. put untreated sewage onto the beach and will find millions of pounds. And you're saying this is a great success story. No, no, so some things are going well, but I completely agree with you, but not everything is going well. And sewage in particular is an area that we need to do radically more on. And we're spending £11 billion between 2025 and 2030 on that. It's the biggest investment programme in sewage in Europe, uh, exactly for the reason that you say, because not everything has been going well. But we're being asked to pay again just lastly, aren't we? We've already paid £51 billion, and now we've got to pay again, because not when I say you, not you personally, but you, the water company, you haven't got it right. So the bills have been going up less than inflation for over a decade, and that's allowed investment in some of the areas I've talked about, but not enough in sewage, and also it won't allow double payment. So if something has already been funded, and the company should have done something, it's for them to sort it out, and they will sort it out. Uh, customers will not be charged twice. That's not allowed in the rules. Grateful for your time. Stuart Colville, thank you. Your Director of Policy at Water UK. We're going to take an early news because coming up after the news, Former Home Secretary now Dane Pretty Patel will be with us as she drew a line between herself and her successor Suella Brahman in an interview yesterday. We are the products of actual integration, multiculturalism, dynamic communities, people that love our country, want to contribute to our country, along with a hell of a lot of other people. And how is our man Henry Riley doing with his challenge? He picked up a Balti curry in Birmingham at 7 o'clock this morning and had to get it to me here in conference time. It's just been nearly an hour and a half I've been on the journey. I've been on the train now from Birmingham for 41 minutes. So if Angus 2 was here, I'd actually be in Manchester by now. So if he's been on a train or bus for an hour and 30 minutes and I'm no closer to my Balti, Henry Riley will get here at some point. Let's get the news at 8.44 with Thomas Watts. The minimum wage will rise to at least £11 an hour from April as part of plans to be announced by Jeremy Hunt later. The Education Secretary Gillian Keegan will set out a crackdown on mobile phone use in schools. And junior doctors and consultants in England are beginning 72 hours of combined strike action. LBC weather rain becoming increasingly widespread across England and Wales, a high of 23 degrees. LBC Travel, I'm Joelle Webb. Long delays on the North Circular Road southbound to Neeston because of that accident that happened earlier. One lane does stay closed at Jewellery Way and there are lengthy delays on the approach. Still long queues on the M1 southbound, junction two at Five Ways Corner, but all the lanes are now back open. All the vehicles are on the hard shoulder, but it's still slow for about three miles on the approach. On the A12 at southbound, it's slow to junction 12 at Mount Nessing, and that's all down to an accident where one lane is closed for recovery. On the underground, there are minor delays on the central line and because of the overtime ban on the trains most train companies are running an amended timetable no services though for Gatwick Express and also London Northwestern disrupted up to St Albans Abbey LDC Say hello to Chase, the digital bank that makes every day rewarding. Oh, hang on, what does that mean? Well it's quick and easy to open a Chase account so you can start earning rewards when you spend Right guys, I think that's it for now um, I'm just going to get on with the rest of my day um, and I hope you all have a lovely Monday. See you later.